In this quick tutorial, we're going to go over how to create a mind map using Google Drive. There's lots of ways to do this. Uh, you can either use a doc, you can use Google Drawings, which is what we're really going to go over in this video here. Uh, but if you're using a Google Doc, all you have to do is go to Insert, and then once you're there, you want to go to Drawing, and you can choose a new one, or you can go from Drive. Uh, so at the end of the day, we're ending up in the same area. This is also true if you go to Sheets, or if you go into slides, it's the same thing. Uh, to create a drawing from Google Drive originally, go to new, then go down to more, and Google Drawings will be the first option there. It'll open up something that looks like this. Once you have this open, you can go over to the shape tool and choose whatever shapes you choose to have. Uh, and you're just gonna click, hold, and drag to put them in there. If you double click, you can automatically start typing in text and you'll have all of the text options available to you if you wanna center it, change the font, whatever you wanna do. Uh, from there, you're gonna to wanna to insert the other kind of areas that you have as far as main ideas or topics or whatever you have. So I'm just gonna say this is topic one. And instead of going through and making more, I'm just gonna highlight this and hit Control C or Command C depending on the device you're on and I'm just gonna copy it through and you'll see that there's some centering lines that pop up as well. So I can make this look nice and organized without really having to do all that much work. Uh, and then we're gonna to do topic three as well. We'll put it somewhere over here. And we have that. So from there, what I really wanna do is I really wanna connect these things together and we can spider this out as many times as possible, but really uh, for the basics, this is all you need. So I'm gonna to go to the line tool to do this. And if you go down, you have elbow connectors, curve connectors. So you can really make this thing look exactly how you want. I'm gonna to go to elbow connectors in this case. I'll go ahead and move up to my top one. And you notice when I move my mouse near it, you'll see that some blue dots pop up. And basically those are magnetic points that allow me to start at that spot. And then I'll just click on them, click, hold and drag, and I'll drag down to the other box, which will also pop open uh, some magnetic blue points for me. So I have that, and basically all I'm gonna do is go through and complete those points by going to one of the blue dots, click holding and dragging, and creating my second point. And I can very quickly get these things lined up and created, and the nice thing is, is if I move this around at all, the elbow stays with it. I can change where the elbow is at as well if I want, but obviously that's gonna break it. Uh, and then from there, I can build sub points if I'd like to. So I can go down here, and let's say I wanna change the shape, and I wanna say this is fact one. Once I have that, I'll go back up to my connectors. Maybe this time I'll go to a curve connector, click, hold, and drag, and bring it down there. I have tons of options with this uh, available to me. I can also change the color, and I can also change the thickness of the line. So I really have a lot of control over how this looks and feels. And then when I'm ready and I'm done and I'm happy with it, I can go to File. It's automatically saved into Google Drive, but I also have the ability to download it. I can download it as a PDF, a JPEG, a PNG or an SVG file. So depending on what your needs are, there's a lot of options in here. Uh, let's say I wanna leave that as is, but I do wanna insert it into this Google Doc. So I'm gonna do is go to Insert, Drawing, and select From Google Drive, and it will automatically find any drawings that I have. And in this case, it's the one that I just made. I can select it, I can link the source or leave it unlinked. Uh, basically, it just allows you to double click on it if you're the maker of it, and you can edit it live inside of the Google Doc. I always leave that as link source, but that's up to you. Uh, and then from there, I can resize and do whatever I need to do, and it scales everything automatically for me. So this is a real quick and easy way to make a mind map or an organizational chart or whatever you need inside of Google Drawings and then bring it out to the other Google services. Hopefully that helps, and let me know if you have any questions with it.